Hi, I'm Greg and thanks for joining me today. I wanted to share a little bit with you about a concept I call scalable accuracy. And if you search the Journal Archives, Inspection Ring Journal Archives, you'll find some articles on scalable accuracy with a lot more detail. But I just wanted to refresh your memories about what scalable accuracy is. So in other words, scalable accuracy uh, means when do I need to zoom in and get a lot more detail about a situation I'm assessing or when can I back out and, and take a higher level view of what's going on naturally. Uh, the more detail I get into, the more information I get into, the more effort, the more time it's going to take and vice versa. If I, For instance, if I'm going to do a damage mechanisms review, should I do that review from the PNID level or the PFD level? The PNID level would be a very detailed level, and even more detailed than that would be the inspection isometric level. Or is it perfectly acceptable and credible to back out and do that damage mechanisms review from the uh, PRD level, um, sorry, excuse me, the process flow diagram level, the PFD level? Uh, so it's situation dependent. Depends a lot on the complexity of the unit, uh, the moving parts of the unit. And, and so let me give you an example. Uh, say I have a very simple uh, petrochemical unit. Doesn't have any corrosion going on on it. Uh, it's mainly made out of carbon steel. Uh, corrosion rates are less than a half mil per year. Uh, the design has been around for the last 30 years. Uh, Industry is pretty familiar with what the issues are, if there are any issues with those units that are mechanical integrity related. So on a unit like that, for instance, if I was performing the damage mechanisms review, doing it from the process flow diagram level might be perfectly acceptable and really the way I should go. But let's take another unit. Maybe I've got a unit that's very complex. Let's take a hydrofluoric acid alkali unit in a refinery where you've got a lot of different things going on, different chemicals being introduced, some very highly corrosive, toxic, and dangerous. Um, in those cases, it may be much more appropriate to do the review at a more detailed level or a PNID level, process instrumentation diagram level. Similarly for RBI. Um, we talk about having quantitative RBI versus qualitative RBI. Well, there are times when maybe I can do a qualitative RBI and that's perfectly acceptable. There's other times I want to do, a, I, I need to do a quantitative RBI because things are a lot more complex and it really deserves that. So these are things that I want you to be thinking about. When do I need to zoom in and really get a lot of detail? When can I zoom back out or back out and, and look at things from a higher level and it's still perfectly acceptable? Uh, that's scalable accuracy in general. And if you want to learn more about it, please look it up in the Inspectioneering Journal Archives. Thanks a lot for watching and have a great day.